everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on the job site today working on floor joists. Those are the beams that uh, you know go horizontally across the ceiling that the next floor's floor sits on top of. And they're being made out of these 2 by 10 foot boards. You can see I've prepped a few of them already. There's those three piles over there that extend up beyond the foundation. Those are the 2 by 10s and I need to cut them to be 16 feet long. And as luck would have it, these are 2 by 10 by 16 foot long boards. And you might think, well that's great. It looks like you don't have anything to do. You can just bring them over and nail them together. Well, the reality with lumber is that if you have a 16 foot board or a 12 foot board or a 10 or an 8 foot board or whatever it is, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily exactly that dimension. And in fact, it almost never is. They're usually just a little bit over, so you have to trim the end so you can get a nice clean uh, trim line. And the first step in doing that is figuring out which end you want to cut. And what I usually do is pick whichever one is worse. If one has like maybe a knot in it or a chink or some kind of like a crack or something like that, that'd be the end you'd uh, trim off. Also, you want to make sure that the end you're not trimming is square. Uh, for this board right here, I think I'm going to be trimming this end, so I made sure that the other end was square. I took my carpenter square and put it up on the side and made sure it was a nice square angle, and it is. And this one over here I've chosen because it has kind of like this piece sort of falling off over here. I might as well cut a lot of that off. So first, got to measure from this end down here. Hook that on like that. I'm sliding my hand along it to keep tension so it doesn't pop up on the other end. Having gloves is great for that because you're not going to get splinters. I'm going to mark it off right at 16 feet. This one looks like it's about three quarters of an inch too long. I'll use the carpenter square to make a mark as to where we want to cut it. And I'm using this battery powered saw to do all my cuts. Uh, these I'm charging the batteries uh, back at uh, the normal house right now while I'm doing the work here. But it's pretty soon I hope to have some solar um, and like uh, you know some batteries here so I can kind of solar charge these batteries while we're working here. When I do the cut, you'll notice one of these types of saws, they have the saw on one side and there's a, a larger side of this table and a smaller side of this table. And you want to have the larger side of the table be what's mostly resting on the board. If you do it from the other way, the saw is going to tend to wiggle a lot more. So you want to have the, the bigger side resting more on the board. So we'll give it a cut here. Right. And River has been taking these and he is using those to start a fire that's been keeping the bugs down and everything and that just makes it a lot easier to work when we're here you know on site there's not that many bugs to begin with but having just a few less of them just makes things that much more comfortable so I just have to keep working with these I think I have maybe 15 more to do I'm gonna stack them over there and then I'm gonna assemble them that's it thanks for watching <laughs>